The shambolic £5.5 billion tank, which deafened troops and could not fire on the move, is set to enter service in 2025, eight years late after repeatedly failing performance tests. Rishi Sunak has been called to introduce root and branch change into how the UK approaches military procurement, following the disastrous purchase of hundreds of Ajax tanks. Today in the Commons, following the publication of the Ajax Lessons Learned Review, by Clive Sheldon KC, former Armed Forces Minister Marc Francois MP described the UK's procurement system as massively bureaucratic and broken. He called on James Cartledge, the Minister for Defence Procurement, to commit to reforming the system, warning that the UK might actually have to fight with its equipment in the near future. The shambolic £5.5 billion tank has been plagued with issues throughout its development. During trials, hundreds of troopers were left injured from noise, causing some to be medically discharged from the army as a result of hearing loss. In 2019, the tank shook so violently and made so much noise that over 300 troops involved in the testing were advised to seek medical help. The vehicle, which was meant to enter service in 2017, was commissioned 12 years ago. The Ministry of Defence agreed a £5.5 billion contract with General Dynamics UK for 589 Ajax armoured vehicles. Responding to the lessons learned review in the Commons, Mr Francois said, The Ajax programme has been an absolute debacle. First initiated in 2010, 13 years and some £4 billion later, we still do not have a new armoured vehicle in frontline service. We won't have it until late 2025 and it won't be fully in service until 2030.